Alrighty, folks, I got a new one for you. This is uh, kind of a newer tune that a lot of people should know and enjoy. This is a song called Every Morning by Sugar Ray. Now, uh, this is, uh, I'm going to put this in the easy section because it's kind of funky with the rhythm and stuff, and it's kind of hard to keep a beat on the song sometimes, but uh, there's not a lot of hard chords in it, so this would be a good song for you guys to learn, excuse me, to put into your uh, initial guitar playing um, repertoire. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, so I'm Dustin Cormier wearing a dorky hat, and um, I'm, uh, you know, had a rocky campfire. Uh, so this song, Every Morning by Sugar Ray, uh, it's got uh, some intricate little riffs and stuff, but you don't need to learn these riffs to play the whole song through. You can just play what I call the implied chords, which is basically for those parts you just kind of don't play anything, and then you just kind of let, you know, you, you, you play the main chords, right? That's all you need for now anyway. Once you get a little bit better, you can start adding in all this. So you can come back to this video because um, I'm going to show you guys how to do all those funky little things, okay? So, we start off uh, with this part of the riff. Okay, so we're going to start off with our first finger on the third fret of the B string. That's that one. Okay? And then our second finger on the fourth fret of the G string. That's that guy right there. Okay? So we're going to start off with these two here, and we're going to go like this. You hit these two twice, and then you put your third finger on the fifth fret of the B string. Okay, and that's what makes that right. Put it on, then you take it off, then you put it on, then you take it off, right? So hit it three times, sorry, twice, twice, and then you hit that once, and then take it off, and then you can take it off. Okay, all you're doing for the next part is taking the this little uh, shape down two frets. And then you're just doing the same thing. And then for the last one, you have both fingers off, and you have your uh, first, your index finger uh, hitting the first fret of the C for the next part. Right? So you're going. And then the last part, you go like this. You want to slide. You want to slide back up to your original place, and you're gonna go, and you hit it four times. Okay. Now there's two ways of doing this. Uh, there's the kind of harder and improper way that kind of sounds better, unfortunately. Um, so when you come up here, you can just slide it down like that, right? You, you hit up to that E, and then from that E, you follow this. So, yeah, after hammering that on, you come back down to the third fret, and then the first fret, and then you just leave it open, okay? This is uh, this way that I usually do it. It's a little bit more proper. Okay? So that's what you're doing, is you're going to slide up to there, and then you hit the note with the fifth fret of the, the B string with your third finger, and then you let it go. And then you hit the 5th fret of the next string down, the G string, okay? Right? And then that's when we go back, when we go into the song, right? So that's the main rhythm, but I'm adding a little extra spice in there. G, D, C, D. Uh, that's pretty much the whole thing, right? Uh, yeah, I guess that is pretty much the whole thing. The only difference that it changes is every now and then they're going to do that little riff, right? And then they go into... Okay, and then so another thing that's important is when we go to the chorus, uh, you're going to do a G major 7. Now, for you beginning guitarists, if you guys want to just skip this and do a regular G chord, you can do it and it'll, it'll, you'll be able to pull it off, right? So, you know, said that we can do it, you know I want to do it again. So that's the 
chorus. Um, what they do in the song, what's proper for you to do, is to do what's called a G major 7th on that part, on the G, okay? And uh, all I'm doing for that G major 7th is I'm taking my first finger from my regular G chord and I'm bringing my first finger to the second fret of that high E string, right? That's, this is my high E string. This is my F sharp note. That's what makes it a major 7th, okay? It's on the second fret. Um, what you want to do in this chord is you want to have your third finger on the third fret of the B string. It's the second string coming up. And then you want the fat part of your middle finger, okay, the, the sort of the face of it, to envelope and overlap the second string, the A string. So you can hear it, right? You can kind of hear it just a little bit, but not enough for that you can really hear it, that it's noticeable. All right? And um, that's what makes our G major 7th chord, right? And so uh, that's for this part. So that we can do it. again, it does the refrain one more time, so after after the second verse, it goes to the chorus once again, Every morning there's a little or sorry, oh, this is the chorus, oh, 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 and then it goes to this bridge part. They, they only, uh, I think they do this twice in the song, but this is what they do. She always writes the wrong, okay, C to the D. through so I'll, you guys aren't just looking at a bunch of jumbly jumbly gook. This is Every Morning by Sugar Ray played by a man with a goofy hat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go into it. <clears throat> yeah I just had to do a little hat quick hat switch through the magic of television. <clears throat> yeah.
anyway, something like that. <laughs> so that's Every Morning by Sugar Ray. Uh, I hope you guys dug it, and I uh, hope you guys learned a thing or two out of that one. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.